and then I am pulled to the east and I am shown thrones, thrones that belong to the disciples of the Messiah. I graze from one to another in awe, as each is beautiful. The Holy Spirit whispers to me, they will be leaders over the tribes of Israel. Then we move to other thrones which are empty. Then I am quickly whisked to the west of the temple and I come to thrones that are also empty when the Holy Spirit and the Messiah both say at once. For the 144,000 this will be their reign and their home. Then I go back to the porch and reside there. I say a prayer for the lost who are too scared to come to God but want him in their hearts. I pray that they would find the true God and the path would be true. When I come out, and I fall into the Messiah's arms, resting my head on his heart. I am tired. And then he said, Listen for my voice, my children of earth, you matter, and my Father's will for you has not finished yet. Come to him and embrace his love. His voice magnifies through your soul. It is merciful and does not condemn, but only shows you your sin, so you can come to repentance. Once you have repented, there is no longer a need to think on that sin anymore, and his powerful voice will guide you to truth and love and kindness with you and your brethren. Now listen, those of you who are trying to cause discord with your brethren and are pushing them to their limits, which I do not order or tell them things in my name, which I do not order. Stop. I am serious, my children. I do not like to get firm with you, but there are times when I need to, st need to be. Stop breaking my heart with your divisions what you think to know to be true, but never consult me first. Push my children too far, or just completely deny a vision or a dream because you do not understand it. Repent, say sorry from the depths of your heart, and I will forgive you. I love you so unconditionally, so compassionately. With my servant joy, you have only received a portion of my love for you. But I can give you more. Let go of this world and things of the world. Only have things you need and compare no one to yourself. You each have unique abilities, all are for different purposes and tasks. So don't you set, dare say, do this and that and focus on what I called you to do. Just focus on what I called you to do. I love you, my children. I am here, ready to take you home. Now let your hearts be connected to mine so I may refine you further and deeper and teach you more. I love you. Just do what is in your best ability and only listen to my voice, the voice that magnifies through your soul. Be ready for my glory and my presence for you will all see it. I am just here to do the Lord's work, nothing else. Just the Lord's, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, our Saviour and Messiah. He is our King. He is our Lord. He is awesome to be praised and powerful and mighty. I humble myself completely to your will, Father, Yahweh. Let only your will be done. I discard all wants and desires so you, so your will can be number one priority. Let only your glory, your power, your plans be fulfilled today, Father. In your glorious name and the name of your wonderful Son, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, the Son of God, the Son of the Highest. There is no other, only Him, only one Creator, only one Maker, our all.